This is Pete Moore on Halo Talks NYC. I have the pleasure of having Suzelle and Anna coming in from Fit Bodies. We're going to talk about staffing your hotels with the best workout talent, group exercise, and how we are going to bring the Halo sector across the globe. So welcome to the show, finally. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm so thrilled to be on here with you, uh, Pete and Dave. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's talk. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, obviously you got one of the cleanest resumes in the country, uh, having done the same job for 30 years. It's kind of like my father. I was like, wow, he, he jumped to like two jobs. Good for him. I think I'm on seven or eight, um, but I'm staying. So this is not a, uh, no issues here. We're not retiring from the Halo Talks. Um, talk about, you know, the evolution of what you've seen with resorts, destinations, really focusing on on fitness, focusing on yoga, starting to understand that they're programming and the personnel that they have actually has meaningful results for for the you know member or guest experience. Start there. Yeah, for sure. So 30 years ago, I started this business with an all-inclusive property and all-inclusive back then meant uh, three or four buffets a day, activities across the board, uh, but and the entertainment team that was there on staff were the ones doing those activities. And when I arrived there as a, 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 a I owned a an aerobic studio and an instructor training center in the early 90s. That's what it was called. That's what we called it. That's what we did. Um, and there was a person trying to do a step class without any background, honestly. So I helped out and that's how this business got started. But as I said, they, the activities, whether the fitness part was actually part of the entertainment part. Now, as I see the evolution of it after all these years and seeing it all the way through, I see that um, the halo, the uh, the fitness combined is now so important to the guests. So the hotel staff, the management understand that and are offering those specialty programs separate from entertainment. And that's a pleasure. And that's what we're here to do, to help out with all that. So, you know, as you kind of take a look at the type of instructors um, that either come to you or, or that you find, are they... People that say, hey, I want to go live in a certain city or I want to go to a certain resort for, you know, one month, three months, six months. And you're basically kind of connecting instructors with properties and also, you know, mutual interest in as a destination. Or is it really people saying like, hey, I want to make the most amount of money. I want to have, you know, make sure my classes are full. Well, what's the criteria for somebody onboarding with you? So our model is fairly simple. So we're, what we're doing for our clients, our hotel partners, is we're providing that that programming for their fitness and for uh, the, the rest of their um, programming that they want as an addition to what they have already with qualified educated professionals that they wouldn't know how to resource. Those people are going on vacation while they're there. They're actually having their own vacation, the instructors. And while they're on vacation, they teach classes to the resort guests. So what they're doing is actually inspiring people to do to be healthy and happy while they're on vacation so that hopefully their lifestyle might change or that they're just there knowing that's what they love and they're happy to be part of a program that's brought to them by educated professionals. Our clients, the hotels, they respect the fact that we understand and know who is educated. We follow up on that. We screen them 100% to make sure they're not only uh, educated but also have the background to be able to provide this high amenity that matches the amenities the hotels are already offering in all the other areas. And then are you giving the hotels a certain amount of time to kind of promote what the programming is when people make a purchase decision on a hotel or it's more of, hey, look, we've got great programming, whether it's powered by Fit Bodies or these resorts now are able to say, look, we've got some top class you know, instructors and, and programming here, and it's on our website already, and there's Yelp reviews, and people just expect that. So is it on the on the front end, or is it kind of just continuous? It's, it's continuous. So what we do is we provide promotional materials. Our professionals offer us uh, their bios, their professional backgrounds, and photos that uh, we provide to the hotel so that they can offer the programming promotions in, in advance of their arrivals. And again, it's every week as much as we can possibly do. We're trying to fill every week with that educated professional. And then they, in turn, provide the same promotion to their networks. 
as well as well as as we do. So it's one of those uh, broad networks, depending on how you want to do it. How often, if you want to promote ahead of time on the website, the hotels choose that the way that they want to do it. If they just want to promote while the guest instructor is there, then of course it's broadcast throughout the hotel and by flyers, by um, the smart screens, and um, and, and also by announcements. Gotcha. What, what are you seeing as some of the trends now? Of what types of modalities or what types of people that uh, is trending? Well, yoga is here to stay, and yoga is important because the educated professional is really the only one that can after, offer it. You know, the entertainment team can't really fudge a yoga class. So that is definitely one of the biggest um, modalities. And, and then also yoga teachers, many of them might have a capability for meditation for other styles that, that might be uh, of interest. Also, they, uh, the hotels really like the new trends, especially if it can be um, something that we would also agree to as well. Zumba, of course, uh, you know, we partner with them and um, they're a great organization uh, with great uh, programming and education. So a lot of the hotels really appreciate that. That is a, as a, one of the trends that brings a lot of people to the activities, gets them excited. But really, honestly, the new trends are what they look for because that offers usually some kind of big blast of information, uh, again, more promotional materials. And they like to be the ones that might be the trendsetters in certain types of programming. Like a, like a breath work or meditation or yeah, hypnosis, yeah. things of that nature. Right. And and so it gets more interest. And one a couple of times, like, I get a little frustrated with the hotels sometimes just because they might look at a trend or might see something maybe on Instagram and they're like, no, this is what we want. We want this product. Um, for instance, the floating yoga mats in the pool. I think they're really cool. They, they throw off a great Instagram post. They are also very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing um, because, you know, you, you can fall off to the edge of the pool. I mean, there's so many things that, can, that they're, the moves that can be done are very limited. So to me, that's a trend that they see as something special. I see as kind of a deterrent. So we, we might clash on those things, but usually they mm -hmm. respect me in the end and, and understand that I can offer a little bit better perspective. Gotcha. So I got a couple of questions about where you could potentially take this business and maybe you're already going that direction. It's because we had a hundred ideas a day and we're talking today. So you're going to have to get yeah. a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, effectively you're, you're like a high end staffing business in, in one regard. Um, my friend does this in the music business where he books large bands uh, or acts to go to, you know, weddings or, um, you know, sweet 16s or bar mitzvahs or, you know, whatever it is, gender reveal. I think that's a big thing now. I don't know. I've been to one, but I heard there's a lot of violence there uh, episodically. I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, my point is, do you have a platform that is also set up where people can sort through and say, hey, for $10,000, I can get, you know, Andrea Rogers from Beachbody and Extend Bar to come to your hotel for a couple of days. Um, is, is there like a, a channel where this kind of turns into almost like a private LinkedIn or like a, a staffing or like a cameo type of business model or, or the hotels are like, look, you, I, I trust you. I need you to curate it. I'm not doing a digital platform where certain people show up and I don't really know who I'm paying or, you know, electronic uh, reservations might be good for my hotel rooms, but not for personnel on my property. Yeah, so it's a good question. Um, my business model is very simple. It is we we offer everything on a trade trade situation. So they, I set it up for the for the instructors to stay there. They get a free accommodations, all inclusive accommodations to trade their services. That's my main business model. So about oh my gosh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, I came up with this idea. That's exactly what you just said. Um, because I was at the Ritz, Ritz Carlton Montego Bay that no longer exists, but is now the Hyatt. Ziva Zalara, which I also work with. And I was there to teach and there was nobody coming to the classes, but the hotel was full. So okay. I found out because I was good friends with the, you know, the team and that's how I do things. I like a personal relationship. Um, sure. But there was a huge conference there and they were all on meeting. So he and I discussed this and I said, why am I not going to provide to you what I can? I have got a database of over 50,000 members all, all of all areas right now and I acquire at least 10 or more daily 
And I can offer somebody special to your events or somebody special for something you want to do. And so we created that and, and the timing wasn't quite right because it was right around the time where corporations were not doing it anymore right, right after that. This is a service that we offer to all of our partners. If they want to do something, if they want us to do something, if they need somebody special, yes, I have the capabilities to handle that. And it is separate from what I do on a daily basis. Got it. Given the shortage right now in the health club and studio market for talented people that either decide they're not coming back into bricks and mortar and doing everything virtually, or just decide to have a lifestyle change and are not going to report. Is there any usage of these 50,000 relationships or instead of a hotel calling you, you know, what if a crunch fitness called you and said, Hey, look, I need four instructors. I'm opening up my grand openings in two weeks. Like, can you help me? Is that something that you've done or can do or should do or would uh, do? Yes. Or want to do? <laughs> yes. Or don't want to yes do? To all, <laughs> yes to all of those. Uh, I have. I can. I would love to. Yes. Gotcha. And I okay. I have the capability to do that. Yes. Okay. I, I would prefer you don't do it as a trade out or else you, you're going to get scoliosis <laughs> from the amount of membership cards that you have from every health club. Um, right. as, no, as no, you, no. As your barter, your keychain is going to be like 50 pound keychain. <laughs> No, we, we would definitely set that up as a separate way of doing business. But um, yeah, for sure. that The answer is yes, yes, yes. Okay. So we, we should have that in the show notes because people, I'm, I'm on some of these industry calls and people are trying to figure out where to find, you know, talented instructors and they, they're coming wow. up spitballing ideas. Um, and some of them wow. are very unconventional. Um, so, yeah. so, so you and, so Anna, if you want to uh, jump in here, um, how did you guys get originally connected and what was the, uh, you know, how did this partnership uh, last through a pandemic and, yeah. you know, a recovery and, uh, you know, talk about that from a business standpoint. Yeah, well, Suzelle and I actually first met um, when I was working at Zumba and um, we brought the Strong Nation program to the Breathless Resorts. So at the time it was five resorts. And um, it was really kind of a, a co-brand and a really great expansion. And also, as you guys have already talked about, a very cool marketing opportunity for the resorts. So that's a lot of what I do. I come from, you know, an education and a programming background within the industry. And then we take, you know, Suzelle's uh, expertise in both fitness and in travel and create these really amazing experiences at our resorts. So that's kind of how it all how it all started and we made it through a pandemic <laughs> somehow. And, and honestly, with Suzelle's leadership, I mean, I, I don't know many travel businesses that could have made it through that um, yeah. and come out shining on the other side. So really big props to her because she, she really does know what she's doing. And also she's been in the industry for so many years. She knows really how to, you know, equally make sure that our instructors feel amazing and they have the, the greatest experiences. And also the resorts are um, serviced and happy and, you know, we give them what they, what they need and what they want. Gotcha. So that's kind of how our relationship started. <laughs> just, just one, one other, that's great. One, one other question related to actually being on the ground at these, at these hotels. And obviously these are all, you know, high end hotels that we've referenced. Mm -hmm. Is there any benefit in the future to saying, you know, this hotel is powered by fit bodies or like we've got fit body programming here. Um, I feel like a lot of these groups are trying to find, you know, just that little bit of an edge uh, mm -hmm. and maybe turning your brand that's facing the consumer, not just facing the, you know, the, the, the programming directors or what have you, how, how have you thought about that? Or has that come up? Oh, absolutely. That's my goal. Um, because it, and actually about three or four years ago, I started putting that information on the promotional flyers of our instructors that, that this professional is brought to you by Fit Bodies. So that they understand this offers them that confidence, the guests, that confidence that they know that somebody has taken the time to uh, make sure that this is a quality program that they're getting ready to enter into. And, the and that the hotel has thought enough of them as the guests to work with somebody that can do this for them. And so that, that, that is definitely, uh, it, and some of them do, uh, some of them do. I would I would love that all of them did because I feel like that is an important factor in in again the confidence and the and the fact that people will join 
for for me, if I went to a hotel and I saw that the the staff person was somebody that I could feel confident in, I would take the class opposed to the fact that if they if they were somebody that got hired by staff there, I might not even consider it. And, and yeah. also it helps with the liability too. I mean, I you know, I hate to bring that part up, but it, that's why education matters because the educated professional should understand certain things that might create an issue with a, with a guest. But a lot of the people that are coming into these classes are not, they don't know what they're doing. They've never come to a fitness class. They might not have the proper clothing. And you know, at these all-inclusive resorts, they might've already had several of the cocktails that are all inclusive as well. So there are a lot of factors that go into this that, uh, that our members are, are prompted to and, and, and uh, educated in as well as their own fitness education. Yeah. That's great. That's great. So uh, l- last question here. So you got 50,000 instructors across the globe who are basically part of your database and you're able to sort through that and, and, and match them up. That's how it's set up right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they actually get to choose where they want to go and when, but it's based uh-huh. on their specialties and what it is that they do. And also we, there's a good combination of family resorts, the all ages resorts and adult only resorts. So of course, if you want to travel with family, that's included at a, it, with a couple a uh, couple children at a, under a certain age, then you would be choosing those of course, and uh, vice versa. Um, also, you know, cur- certain locations, we started working with Southeast Asia. So we're in Bali and, and Maldives and Phuket and some of those areas and expanding into Japan and even China eventually with our contract. So it takes a particular person that would be traveling to those areas. So they get to choose where they want to go and when and for how long. These are one one week long sessions, but they can they can choose those sessions. We actually have two people, honestly, that that don't even have home. <laughs> they mm-hmm. just go from hotel to hotel, um, traveling around and, and doing this as part of their life. That's and great. they save money. <laughs> they, they save money, money. Yeah, every like single month because well, if they buy a know, big they're, they're they're buy a big tennis. Money. Yeah, I travel around with a professional tennis player bag, even though I'm not a professional tennis player. It fits perfectly in the overhead. I pop it on, and then I get my hair dyed and tell people I'm ranked 128, and they think I'm a professional tennis player. Um, that's another tip. Um, yeah, maybe we could get on this as the five fifty thousand and one. Dave, yeah, there we go. Yes. Hey, we've got tennis. We've got tennis positions, Pete. Yes, yeah, I'll, tennis I'll do tennis. I'll do tennis. I'll yes. bring uh, one three pound kettlebell. And, yeah, um, yeah. The and then I'll just know, promote right? the book. I'll call it an education all the time to win again, you know, kettlebell workout at the, uh, at the pool. So yeah. <laughs> that's not a crazy idea, actually. Let's develop that <laughs> offline. So in closing from one of you or both of you, you got any favorite uh, business quotes or personal quotes that, uh, that you, uh, that harken back or that you think about a lot or they're important to you? Well, for me, um, I, I just I always say the sky's the limit because that's how I feel, um, especially if you have enough passion in it and you have the perseverance and the challenge to do it. I've done ultra distance running and uh, in the dark in the woods. And I think back on some of those things and I think, wow, you know, you have to know that you can accomplish all these things. So I say the sky's the limit. I don't know if it's a quote. It might even be my quote. <laughs> all right. It is. Anna? I'm going to um, uh, bring this back to Suzelle. So my favorite quote of hers is that she says, you have to go to know. So when it comes to fit bodies, whether you're an instructor, a trainer, uh, you're an operator, you're a manager, and you, you want to think about different ways to, um, you know, get to consumers, uh, come and talk to us because, you know, however, however you look at it, you're going to love the experience. It's going to be good for your business somehow or good for you personally. Um, so I would say go to know. And that's that's Suzelle. Uh, I'm, I'm repeating her verbatim. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right awesome. All right. Well, if you're an instructor and you're looking to, uh, to have great experiences, uh, Fit Bodies, all the information will be in the uh, in the show notes. And thank you for uh, continuing to wave the halo flag and getting people into fitness classes instead of into creative cocktails. Uh, at the all-inclusive <laughs> resort so we will see you and send me an application to be on the platform please of course of course thank you so much all right awesome <laughs>